Next thing we're going to tackle is this FS tab. FS tab, <coughs> in my mind, it says file system table because in the end result we have a file called in well in etc fs tab and it says sda1 is there and it has this kind of format and ss2 is there so all the devices three of them because we have three partitions will be defined in fs tab you'll find them there they are going to be defined with an a u and the u stands for an universally unique identifier universally unique identifier and the only thing it, that's important to know is that these strange things you might have seen already that your hard disk is going to be uniquely identified that's it more there's nothing more to be said about it you can also identify it by label like here and you can define it by disk id and so on so different ways to say the hard disk is that part that name of that UID, that label, etc. So we need to run this one, generate the file system table minus U, U meaning I'm gonna use this one, not the labels, that's the L. And whatever it's in mounted in this folder here, you put that information inside this file. So let's go ahead. If everything has been mounted correctly, so if we have, we have a quick look at this one, then we have three lines, okay? So if we do generate me an FS tab and minus U, use the universally unique identifier, check out this folder, we mounted everything in there. And then if you find something added, this means append or add, so put it in the end. And maybe it's interesting to quickly take a quick peek at nano mount etc fs tab now already nothing has been written so now you see a plain vanilla fs tab coming from arch linux okay this time we're really gonna follow through and gonna write everything minus u check out this folder append so put it after the lines you just saw and then MNT, sorry, yeah, correct, MNT, etc, file system tab, like so. <coughs> arrow up, arrow up. And this is something you should check. You should have three lines there. If you miss something, you missed maybe something up uh, uh, in, in the tutorial here. So you need to have SDA3, SDA1, SDA2, okay? X4, boot, swap. Ctrl X, that's that. And we have now, uh, well, generated a file from which to boot from. Okay, 